archaeologists in Japan have discovered a giant jar full of coins. To whom did they belong and what is their value? Mysterious burials were found under the oldest city in the world. You will learn the mystery of the ship from Osberg and the secrets of the remains of ancient people. Hi friend, you're on the Kurtop channel. Burials of the most ancient city in the world Burials found under the floors of houses in Chattel Hook. This settlement on the territory of modern Turkey is also called the most ancient city in the world. Local residents buried the dead in houses, often arranging graves under the floor. Some of the dead were removed from the graves after some time, after which their bones were used apparently for ritual purposes. However, sooner or later they were buried again in the so-called secondary burials. It is noteworthy that in a number of secondary burials, the bones were painted. This honor could be awarded to people of both sexes. However, scientists note that the blue-green color was associated with women, while the bones of men were dyed with cinnaba. Between 10 and 13 percent of adult residents of Chattel Hook had caries. Of the 93 skulls studied from Chattel Hook, 25 showed signs of healed fractures. In 12 cases, five injuries were noted at once, often caused by hard, round objects. Scientists have found clay balls of suitable size and shape in Chattel Hook. Most of the victims were hit on the top or back of the head. It is noteworthy that more than half of the victims were women. According to archaeologists, most skull fractures occurred during periods when Chattel Hook was the most crowded. Obviously, they were the most favorable periods for agriculture. The scientists found that the majority of household members in Chattel Hook appeared to be unrelated. This conclusion is based on the shape of the teeth, which is determined by genetics. However, they were all buried in the same houses. Lens of Nimrod the study of the ruins of Nineveh, discovered in 1849, leads to the discovery of more and more mysterious artifacts. Even skeptical historians are convinced that the sages of the Assyrian Empire, which disappeared millennia ago, possessed amazing knowledge about the world around them. The 3,000-year-old Nimrod lens still caused great controversy. Over 150 years of studying it, scientists have not been able to establish for certain the exact purpose of this translucent disk created from a single piece of rock crystal. The antique lens had a slightly oval shape. The distance from the flat side to the focal point is 11 cm, which allows you to get to a threefold increase in the objects under consideration. It has been empirically proven that this ancient glass is capable of focusing the sun's rays. Even the very definition that this object is a lens causes controversy among some researchers. It can be seen with the naked eye that a piece of crystal has been artificially processed and polished, but the transparency of the material is rather mediocre. Opponents believe that in those days there was no normal glass magnifier or other magnifying devices. However, if desired, the Nimrod lens could be used for a detailed examination of small hieroglyphs on a clay tablet. There is a hypothesis about the use of the Nimrod lens, or its better analogues as a part for optical instruments. This theory is supported by the amazingly accurate knowledge of the Assyrians in the field of astronomy, despite the fact that the telescope was officially invented in 1608 by the Dutchman Johan Lippershey. For example, in ancient manuscripts, Saturn is depicted as a deity surrounded by a ring of snakes. According to the most daring researchers, these drawings symbolize the real rings around the planet, which simply cannot be seen without a primitive telescope. Ten months of agony and six and a half thousand years of oblivion. This is an ancient Peruvian mummy, whose age is about six and a half thousand years. Radiocarbon analysis showed that the remains belong to an infant who died between 4505-4457 BC. This is one of the oldest mummies discovered so far. Initially, the find was kept in the Witzenhausen Ethnological Museum. 
after mold infestation was found on the body, in 1987 it was donated to the Lipp State Museum dead mold. That is why the mummy was called the child of their dead mold. The baby's body was naturally mummified. He was found with his eyes closed, arms crossed and legs bent, which is a typical burial for that era and area. A CD scan showed that the infant's body was wrapped in cloth. A small flat rectangular pendant hangs around the child's neck, presumably an amulet made of bone. According to the teeth of the mummy, it was found that the child died at the age of 8-10 months. Computed tomography revealed that the baby had a very rare congenital heart disease, hypoplastic left heart syndrome. In addition, the child suffered from vitamin D deficiency, enterocathaly, a deformity of the skull in which the head takes on a conical shape. In addition, the infant developed a lung infection caused by tuberculosis or pneumonia, which eventually led to death. Man with Jalous Deformity of the Skull The photo shows a man with a deliberately deformed skull, probably 19th century France. The author of the picture could not be identified. Deliberate deformation of the skull was extremely common in many parts of Eurasia in the Neolithic. The earliest written mention belongs to Hippocrates, who around 400 BC described the macrocephalic or long-headed people. In those distant times, the unusual shape of the skull, apparently, was considered a sign of nobility or had a cult significance. But even at a much later time, the custom of deforming skulls was preserved in Scandinavia, Great Britain and Eastern Europe. In France, low-income people, mostly peasants, used thick fabric ribbons bando, to deform children's skulls. This practice was called to lose deformation, but children's heads deformed in completely different regions of France until the 20th century. Wealthier and more conscientious citizens pitied children with elongated skulls, as they believed that this reduced their intelligence. The custom of deforming skulls is still alive today. For example, in the island nation of Vanuatu, the people of Malakula used this practice to the local hero Ambed, who had an elongated skull and a large nose. The Mystery of the Osberg Ship the Osberg ship is amazingly beautiful. Built 12 centuries ago, it looks like it was recently launched, such is its preservation. This is not a reconstruction. 90% of the wooden parts are authentic, even 60% of the iron bolts are the same ones that were used in its construction. The bow and stern of the vessel are decorated with magnificent carvings and have spiral-shaped finials, imitating the tail and head of a dragon or sea serpent. The vessel has 15 pairs of oar holes on each side, that is, it required 30 rowers. The ship was found in August 1903 near the city of Osberg by the farmer Knud Rome. He decided to take clay from the middle of one of the hills, which turned out to be a burial mound. Having stumbled upon ancient wooden floors, he turned to the local university. Arriving archaeologist Sweet Gustafsson conducted preliminary excavations and made sure that the barrow contains the richest burial worthy of a king and an almost completely intact ship. The restored ship made a huge impression on his contemporaries. It has even been hailed as a perfect example of the Viking ships of the early era. So what is the main mystery of the ship from Osberg? It is impossible to believe that the Scandinavians of the Viking Age could not build a seaworthy ship. So maybe it still had other functions that are still incomprehensible to us. No, of course this is not about the forgotten technologies of Atlantis and aliens from the stars. Everything is much more trivial. Historians have come to the conclusion that it was by no means a Viking warship, but was built specifically for the Queen, meaning the standards of luxury and comfort worthy of crowned persons in their understanding. Here, in their opinion, there are two options. The first, the ship was intended only for coastal navigation, and when bad weather approached, it was immediately pulled ashore to avoid trouble. And secondly, it was built precisely as a funeral ship for the dying queen, and was never launched into the water in general. In other words, the function of the ship is purely ritual. But there is a third option. The ship is quite functional, just built not for the sea, but for wide, calm rivers and lakes. 
Mayan deity had. Experts from the National Institute of Anthropology and History in Mexico discovered the stone head of the god of corn during excavations of the ancient city of Palenque, the capital of the Bacal Maya kingdom. The 1,300-year-old artifact was found in a small artificial pond with plastered walls. The width of the reservoir is 1 meter, the length is 3. In the Mayan tradition, underground reservoirs, for example, sea notes, karst failures, were considered gates to the afterlife, they served as a venue for rituals. The head of the deity, with a maximum length and width of 45 and 16 centimeters respectively and a height of 22 centimeters, was oriented from east to west. This, according to archaeologists, symbolized the birth of corn with the first rays of the sun. Experts said that the face of the deity has graceful features, a sharp chin, thin lips that protrude outward while the lower lip protrudes slightly down and expose the upper incisors. In addition, the head has thin and rounded cheekbones, elongated and narrow eyes, and a long, flattened and rectangular forehead merges into a wide and pronounced nose. The Maya is a Mesoamerican civilization known for its writing, art, architecture, architecture, mathematical and astronomical systems. The beginning of its formation is attributed to the pre-classical era. Most Mayan cities reached their peak in the classical period. Revive a microbe that has been dormant for a billion years. Geologists plan to cut and open an 830 million year old crystal that may contain ancient living microorganisms. Scientists from the Geological Society of America published their findings on the rock salt crystal for the first time in the journal Geology earlier this month. They say the organic matter floats inside rock salt, also known as halite, and the organic matter appears to be prokaryotic and algal cells. The discovery shows that microorganisms from salt deposits can survive well in halite for hundreds of millions of years and can only be detected in in situ by optical methods. This study has implications for the search for life in both terrestrial and extraterrestrial chemical sedimentary rocks. Scientists are about to open the crystal to see if the organic objects are still alive. A lot of detailed work has been going on over the years to figure out how to bring hundreds of millions of years old microorganisms back into the modern world in the safest way. Scientists will also try to find evidence of alien life that came to Earth almost a billion years ago. Biologists' tireless interest in various ancient life forms is understandable, since real scientists are always a little crazy and think little about the consequences of their actions. Meanwhile, if you release into the world a microbe that has been sleeping in a crystal for a billion years, it may happen that 7 billion people instead of a microbe will fall into eternal sleep. Samurai Jug with Coins in Japan, they discovered a huge ceramic vessel, more than a meter in diameter, filled to the brim with medieval coins. Archaeologists have found the state of a certain Japanese samurai in Saitama Prefecture near Tokyo. Experts call this treasure the largest catch of medieval coins ever discovered in the land of the rising sun. The vessel and coins are, according to experts, as many as six centuries old. Whose jar of treasure is this? Why was it hidden there? And why did no one come back for it? The jug was buried at a depth of 3 meters. It's not damaged. However, the copper in the bronze coins found inside oxidized and turned bright green. Archaeologists believe that there are more than a hundred thousand of them. They were strung on a rope. Along with the money was a wooden tablet. The sign says Nihyaku Rokuchu in Japanese, which means 260. This may refer to the measurements of 260 can, which are units of 1,000 and means that there are 260,000 coins in the jar. Historians say that a chain of 1,000 coins was worth one ounce of silver and was the usual amount to keep with you. At the time when this treasure was hidden, the country was divided and ruled by the emperor who gave the conquered lands to the shoguns, the military leaders. Perhaps the rich warrior hid his treasures because he was in danger of being robbed due to civil unrest in Japan at the time. Massacre in Croatia 
The remains of the victims of the massacre in the territory of present-day Potokhani, Croatia, which took place 6,200 years ago. Scientists were able to find the remains of 41 people, apparently representatives of the pastoral community from eastern Croatia. The burial was discovered in 2007 during rescue excavations on a private lot, the owner of which planned to build a garage. However, an unexpected discovery changed his plans. The discovery of so many dead and buried people at the same time prompted archaeologists to think that there were very large settlements in this area already 6,000 years ago years ago. To learn more about the victims, scientists conducted a whole range of studies, including analyzing the DNA of the buried. It turned out that only a few close relatives were among the dead. 70% of those killed did not have close relatives in this burial, which indicates the indiscriminate nature of the massacre. There were almost equal numbers of women and men among those killed, so the likelihood of a large-scale battle can also be rejected. Traumatic brain injuries were found in 13 out of 41 people. The causes of death of the rest of the period have not been established, but scientists believe that they were also killed, but in a way that did not leave marks on the skeleton. For example, they were strangled or stabbed to death. Archaeologists believe they have found evidence of an ancient social upheaval brought about by climate change and population growth. The migration of various groups resulted in increased competition for resources, primarily water and grazing for livestock, and as a result in a massacre. Ancient Cemetery in Peru Archaeologists have discovered the remains of 42 people in a cemetery next to a Peruvian hospital dating back to the 16th century, when the country first became part of the Spanish Empire. Most of the remains once belonged to men, some of whom suffered from syphilis before they died. Built in 1552, specifically for Spanish patients, this historic building is considered the oldest hospital in both Peru and South America. This site, where the first doctors of the 16th century are believed to have been trained, also had a church where the dying could be closer to God and even a separate ward for the mentally ill. The bodies remained undiscovered for centuries, despite being buried only 30 centimeters underground. According to experts, the remains of the mummies of the last Incas, a tribe that once ruled the Andean region of South America before the Spanish conquest, may also be buried here. In addition, archaeologists have discovered an underground crypt and fragments of pre-Hispanic pottery, possibly from the time of the Incas. Most of the newly found bones belong to men, some of whom experts say died of syphilis and skull deformities. Archaeologists have found a cross, possibly made of copper, that was around the neck of one of the deceased. Excavations at the site began 20 years ago and have unearthed traces of a cemetery, as well as the remains of a 19th century fountain, an early colonial era garbage pit, and a vaulted structure. But 42 bodies were unearthed just after months of recent excavations in downtown Lima. Experts discovered an underground crypt and fragments of pre-Hispanic ceramics, probably created even before the construction of the hospital. Experts believe that the remains of at least three rulers of the Inca Empire, Pesha Kutek, Huena Capac, and Tupac Yupanqui, may be buried under the complex. Over the past 200 years, there have been several unsuccessful attempts to find these remains. Read this video with a thumbs up or down and subscribe to the channel. And most importantly, do not forget to write a kind comment under the video. Thanks for your views. Bye, everyone!